In this quick video guide, we're going to see how we can create curved walls in uh, Blender. And we're going to see a couple of techniques. So it's uh, a way you can bend uh, like, and control the bending and the curvature of your walls. So we can use this cube that we can find in um, Blender. It's two meters cube. So we go from object mode into edit mode. And then we start deleting the faces we don't need. So we select the faces of the cube in the face selection up here and then delete with the X or the delete key. Now, if you know these basic commands, you're fine. Otherwise, you can check our Blender video course starting from the basics. So I want to keep a couple of uh, walls, sorry, a couple of faces to, to do the walls. Otherwise, it won't work. We need a couple of faces because with this first technique, we are going to use the bevel. And for the bevel, you need a corner, and that's the corner right there. So we need an L-shape kind of wall. Well, you can do walls with this, but you can do also panels or anything that is curved and like flat or similar to what we're going to do. So to create a curve, we can select here the bevel command in the commands on the toolbar on the left and choose the edge so we select the edge selection on the top and then we select this corner right here and then we just click and drag the yellow line and sorry the yellow circle and it creates this like extra face so now we have three faces and so the the, the way this works is if we go down here on the bottom left you find this expandable Panel. When you expand the panel, you find the, uh, the now it's kind of chamfering. It's like cutting through in that corner. But if you find here the segments parameter, if you increase the segments, it's going to create like a series of faces. And those segments will give you the curvature. So the more of those you add and the more curvy your object will look like, or you can apply a smooth modifier or a smooth effect. And I'm going to show you in just a minute. So other things you can do here, you have a lot of other parameters you can play with, but this is the most important one to go from chamfer and like bevel. And then you have a shape that makes like convex or concave, and it can adjust the curvature a little bit, as you can see. So it's a pretty controlled curve that you can do with this technique. It's like, a, it's like an arc. Now we can proceed with our wall by extruding. You can extrude using the extrude extrusion and using the plus circles, you click and drag. If you want to go on the X, press X key. If you want to go on the epsilon, press the epsilon key. Other go, otherwise you go like totally free or you, know, you can lose the direction, but you can always adjust the lines and the edges by selecting them. So I'm going to hold shift and select these two. I want to add a curvature also here. So I'm going to go bevel and there you go. Now this is a double bevel and then increase again to have around the corner rather than a simple cut. So you can decide which corners will be rounded, which corners will be cut. And that depends also on the, the angle between the two walls. So uh, let, let's go back to edit mode. I want to also apply the beveling to that. So we have different curves into different parts of the wall. And there we go. Now this is too thin. To have an actual wall, we need to apply a modifier. So we can go in the modifier panels, apply the solid solidify modifier. So I'm gonna look for solid, apply solidify, give a thickness to this, and then use even thickness. And now you see it looks more like a wall, but again, you, you can do like wooden panels, you can do uh, curtains, uh, windows, whatever. It's just a technique you can apply to anything. Right click to apply a different smooth. So this is auto smooth, which works perfectly fine with 30 degrees. And then this is smooth flat if you want to see the faces. So decide which one you want, and then you can adjust the angle also if you want at the bottom left. And also you will see now a smooth modifier applied to your object. Now the other technique is based on the curve. So you create the curve 
You can use a Bezier, you can use any shape. You can also import from Illustrator, from CAD. And then you go object mode, edit mode, and then you can change the points, the control vertices, which will let you control the curve that you see inside. If you want to add more, you can just extrude right now using the extrusion. It works similarly to the extrusion of the edges. If you press X, it's going to go on the X. If you press Epsilon, it's going to go on the Epsilon. And then you can always adjust it. You can also click on the E key to extrude freely. But now you can see it's not perfectly flat. Now to make that curve perfectly flat, you can go in the curve panel and press 2D. So it's going to be nice and flat on the ground. Now also in the same panel, let's go back to object mode. Here, we just need to go in the curve panel and then apply in the geometry the extrusion. So once you have the extrusion, again, there you have your wall. But again, is it doesn't have a thickness, so it's only one face. And so let's apply a solidify again. And this way, we're going to give it a thickness. It's going to be an actual solid. And we can adjust the thickness. Here, it looks pretty smooth. So now we can only do shade flat or shade smooth. And a way we can adjust this is just convert to mesh. So let's right click convert to mesh. And then let's put the auto smooth again. And that works perfectly fine. Now, what if we want to bend even more? So not only on one direction, but also in a second or third direction, our wall. So instead of having this really composed wall, we want something more like um, extravagant or, you know, kind of more um, elaborate. So let's adjust here again the smooth. You can see we have the smooth modifier. We can adjust the angle and that's going to change the way the, the faces and the curvy walls look like. And let's go to edit mode once again. Now, to add more curvature, we need to go to the loop cut and apply here. Click and increase the number of cuts. So the more we increase, the more we can play with our wall in this other direction and give some curviness into the other direction. So I'm going to use the Move tool. And now I'm going to select the vertex. I'm going to select one vertex. And I'm going to push that vertex. So this is what happens usually. If we apply the proportional editing, and this that will be pretty different. So proportional editing is when you want to work smoothly using an area rather than just a point or an element. And then you increase the proportional size. The more you increase it, the more it's going to affect the surrounding vertices. And now you can see that I can create many more effects for my wall. So this can become something more elaborate. And this will be good enough for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe to the channel to stay updated. If you want, you can join the channel. If you want to thank us, support us. And also, you can check our other courses. I can adjust here, again, the smoothness of this. So check our other courses in Blender and architecture and design in Blender, sculpture in Blender, if you're interested in, and also other courses in 3D modeling, sculpting, rendering and so on. So thanks for watching. See you in the next guide.